Hey team, it's Colby. Welcome to my first dev video, and there's more to come, so make sure you subscribe for more updates. Today I'm going to walk you through something that might look simple, but can be a little tricky when you're trying to add it to your own site. Particularly, we'll be adding one into Free Code Camp News, which uses Ghost CMS as their backend. This is supposed to supplement the blog post I wrote, so if you would prefer the written version, you can find the link in the description. So to start, this is what we're going to take a look at building. Uh, it's just a simple list of links, but they each link to a different part of the post, so we can easily jump down to the next section that we want to visit. This is important because it helps people navigate the post a little bit more easy, but if it's a lengthier post, it also helps them give a preview before they dive in. So let's jump in. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to our post editor in our CMS. Uh, once we create a new line, we can type star space, which starts a new list element. Then we can copy the first header that we have in our list, which is first off, what really makes a developer full stack. So let's paste that in there. Now we have our first list element. Now we want to open up the post preview. This will give us the ability to actually navigate down to the header in the file, where we can inspect it, which should be available in most browsers, and then copy and paste the ID, which you see in the DOM, and then we'll use that to create a link. You can select the full line and then hit the link element, or you can hit Command K, which does the same thing. Then you want to type hashtag and then paste in that ID. Now we have a link. So if you go back to our post preview now, we can just navigate over here in the tab, refresh. We can see now that if we were to click that, it's going to automatically jump to that first title. Now that doesn't really seem too helpful since it's the very first one, but once we fill out the entire list, it will look a little bit better. So skipping ahead a little bit, this is what it will look like once we have our, all of our headers done and in a list. Uh, as you can see, once we view the post or preview it, we can come over here and click on any of those headers and immediately drop down to the content section that we want to read about. And with a little bit of legwork, that's how you make a table of contents in Go CMS. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more of my upcoming videos, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching.